Indian companies are focusing on and uh, also the government is incentivizing is electrification of um, test car vehicles as well as uh, buses. Uh, so the uh, public transport. I think people are looking at how do they really manage the supply chain and bring a balance between local and global. As, uh, as the uh, uh, total automotive industry is becoming more, it is becoming a software defined way thing required. Now this will happen uh, over next uh, uh, typically four years uh, significantly. In my opinion, it will be followed by another cycle of three to four years. So next seven, eight years, you will see a significant change, which is in the software area uh, to start with. Uh, the competency of many of these companies was not automotive and uh, was not uh, software. And uh, it was more about manufacturing of automobiles, uh, branding, etc. And of course, some key technologies were like power training. The skill gap is becoming evident. I mean, people, they have people, but what you need is a different type of people, more software people, etc. And uh, recall issue, high cost. So being software at the center of that, I think uh, very experienced, highly quality driven delivery software writing is become essential for them and their suppliers. And having that number of people, that number of skill, that number of experience, because it is not only about skills, it is about the experience of driving a software, which is that kind of a dependable. Um, that is uh, the challenge. Uh, domains is not only skills training, as you generally call in some of the IT or some of these areas. It is more to do with um, also domain understanding as well as the reliability. So there are so much software being written, which is very important, very core to the vehicle, but not differentiated, and it is not visible to the uh, consumers. So some kind of a more um, reuse and um, you know um, collaborations on developing some of the solution will happen, which will bring down that. But in the first cycle right now, right, people don't have time and it takes huge amount of effort to get people together and get them to drive and they don't have time uh, in hand. That's why right now people will find their own solution, but <coughs> I feel by 24, 25 and onwards, they will find a solution to collaborate or some of the more productized or platform based solution. is uh, you know we want to do what we are passionate about which is in my opinion very very important in our mind we are very very passionate about automotive and mobility um, as a team uh, leadership team and the second we all feel very deep about uh, um, you know cleaner world safer world smarter world and mainly sustainability is very very important we have a reasonable chance to be at the forefront, both in terms of scale, quality, and transformation uh, globally. And from the OEM perspective, uh, it is not only a car is sold at a point of sale only, but all the consumers on the road to and uh, maybe for 10 years or forever, whoever is driving their car becomes their client and they will continue to service them, interact with them by providing services, for providing uh, this. They will make sure that your uh, car, car uptime is better, uh, your uh, time uh, within the car is enjoyed. Now this change is basically software driven and uh, that is what uh, why this uh, uh, it is becoming very core to OEMs. That's why this is a very large change for the industry and uh, a very large opportunity for KPIT.